previously on X-Men. And now I have no rear brake again. Not ideal. Right to the floor. I wonder what happened. Well, shoot. Uh, that'd do it. <laughs> Damn. I just ripped that rear brake line right the fuck off there. That's a bummer. <laughs> Josh, you fucking idiot. Oh, well. While surveying the damage here, probably a stump or a tree or something is what ripped out the brake line. Here's the other part of it hanging there. There's part of it there. Uh, I gotta clean this caliper up, obviously, because there's a lot of dirt in it. And it ripped the banjo bolt out, too, so I might even have to replace this, depending on how bad the threads are. But first things first, I'm gonna get the bike clean, then I'm gonna take these fittings up to Amazon Hose and get a new line made. Now that I got the bike all cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and pull this rear wheel off and see if I can't pull that caliper off because that is going to need some serious cleaning. Luckily for me, the threads look fine. What I think happened is the brake line probably got caught by something and then twisted the banjo bolt. Then, as I finished the race, since it was already loose, it rattled the rest of the way out. Either way, this was open during a large part of an enduro race, so this entire caliper is gonna to have to come apart and be completely cleaned. All right, <laughs> once again, I am behind the freaking eight ball right now in the F-350. It's the day before race day. I've got everything loaded up. I barely even know what freaking day it is right now. I've just been in such a rush. Things have been so crazy. Working extra hours at the bar, volunteering for stuff. But I'm not going to miss race day, so I'm... <laughs> even though the odds are stacked against me right now. So as I said, I've got the truck all loaded up, but my bike is not at 100% right now. Like you guys saw earlier, I broke the, I broke the rear brake line. I ripped it off on a stump. I had a new one made, but it, they didn't have the right diameter, so it's way bigger and I couldn't get it bled properly. So right now, I still don't have any rear brakes. So race day, I'm supposed to be at work in about an hour, and I'm basically right now, I'm headed over to Dylan's work to try to fix my bike and get it ready for race day. Uh, he's got a power bleeder there, so we're hoping with the power bleeder, we can get enough of the air sucked out of the line that I'm gonna have rear brakes that actually function. I just feel like everything's going a million miles an hour right now, and I'm caught in a whirlwind, but hey, you know what? One way or another, I'm getting to that race. Oh, and to add insult to injury with all of this, there's a 70% chance of rain to mark the race, so it's gonna be a total shitter. All right, so it's about 7 a.m. We're out here at Bartow getting ready for the race, and am I fogging up? No, not fogging up. Still feel like I'm running around with like a chicken with its head cut off. Got my ass 100% kicked at the bar last night. We were three deep all night. Not to mention it was the time change, so I had to work an extra hour. Everybody else got an extra hour of sleep, 
I had to work an extra hour. So when they inevitably get better times than me, that'll be the excuse I'm going to use. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Can you excuse my lap you today? No, that's my that's my whole fucking plan. You ain't lapping nobody today. It's going to be nice today, though. West won't be right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shots fired. I'm still behind the eight ball. We're still trying to get the clake figured out. We're literally about to take it apart right now and change another cam at 7 a.m. on site. So let's get to it. Boom. And it actually, like, as scary as it seems to be taking this apart in the field, it actually comes apart pretty easily. Now, changing cams is really not that big of a deal. This is some last minute fucking heart pounding shit right here, Dylan. This is gonna be the reason why I fucking finished the race, man. You're doing it. What? Chief Mechanic Connolly, you that is fucking me over. So it'd be either the reason I do really well or the excuse that I do really bad. Well, here goes nothing. Should be set up. At least it should be like it was before. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Bright and early, <laughs> team no sleep. Let's go get registered. Morning. Very well, sir. And yourself? Good, good. Have fun. Thank you, sir. Too Dumb to Die. <laughs> That's gonna be the name of my book, man. I still gotta look like a dipshit right hand. Thanks for labeling them for the, you know, people like me who ain't too bright. I almost forgot to put gas in my shit, dude. <laughs> Weren't we just talking about how awesome clear tanks are because you know when to put gas in? And here I am forgetting. My man Wes. We got the whole crew out today, man. I'm loving it. We got Wes and Thumb Gas. Kevin, Mr. 808, crash in the first corner, but still get third place. Representing Team Green, man. I love me some Kawasaki's. Man, so far, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. What a great track. It's gonna be such a shame when this place turns into a total fucking shithole because of all the rain. I'm just gonna enjoy the hell out of this course now because who knows what it's gonna look like at one o'clock. Fingers crossed for no rain. Fingers fucking crossed. Oh no! An XR650L with a license plate on it blowing by Shade Tree Surgeon. That's embarrassing. So our man Ty showed up on the mighty 230 and he actually raced, yeah, he's got a horn on it now. He raced sportsman class yesterday and was just making people cry on this tiny little bike, making all sorts of dudes on $10,000 bikes, uh, much like mine, cry into their fucking Cheerios on this bike. There's too many guys. that whole video later make sure you go to check it out i'll have a link in the description down below i'm just glad i'm not the only dipshit who's working on his bike like right before the race starts kevin's doing it too wes has a camera that he puts on my helmet that we use to take video of my race oh shit shots so fired he gets, he gets to see that the whole race. <laughs> when he uploads it to his channel that's going to be there the whole race we're going to make a hashtag called wes slow so, ty brought Amber up here who's another true believer and pulled an all-nighter and not only is she pulling an all-nighter but she decided to come embarrass me by racing the afternoon class so keep an eye out for Amber passing my fat ass later today <laughs>
right, well, uh, I've had a long day, night, two days. I don't know how to put it, but I am fading fast. It is time for me to close my eyes and meditate on my eventual victory, or hopefully at least finish. And it's looking less and less like rain, so we've got that to look forward to. Time for me to hit the sack, at least for a little while. See you guys on the start line. All right. Let's do the damn thing. You get some sleep, Shady Drink? A little bit. <laughs> What's happening, man? You doing all right? Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, my man. My man. Good luck. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Mr. Miller. Good job, you out there. Thanks, my brother. You too. What's happening, man? Good to see you out again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hell yeah, Josh. Wow, my man. Thanks, guys. Good luck, my brother. My man, stay safe. Line selection. Line selection. Ty always says line selection, and I always choose bad lines. You're in the thick of it. Don't crash in the first turn. It's hard ground out here. I do not want to fall on this shit. It's like fucking concrete, man. Choppy, too, man. The kind of shit that'll make you kick your rear end out. Come on, line choice, buddy. Whew. Alright, the fast 250 guys are starting to pass me now. Remember, no mistakes, that was what we're going for today. Remember, even good guys that are passing you can still wreck and finish the race. Not finish the race. <sighs> Gotta remember, there's more to racing than just going fast. So take it easy. Oh 
shit, I thought Dylan passed me earlier. There he goes right there. That was a mistake. I didn't get hurt, so that's good, but you can see right there, that little mistake just cost me like three places. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to work twice as hard to get that ship back. Look through the obstacles, look through the rut. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Careful now, careful. Remember what I said about falling downhill? Hurts way worse than falling uphill. Ask me how I know. good and I feel like I earned it but I wonder if I wouldn't have been better off just following him and keeping his pace because he was he was damn near pushing me to my limits <laughs> I don't know if I made the right choice right now racing and a race this long it's definitely a lot to do with strategy We'll see if that one pays off or not. It's a long race, we're still in the first lap. All right, this be a really stupid place to fall over the handlebars. Come on, dude, just get through this part. Be a hero. Off camber shit, the last thing you need is just slide into a tree and kill your fucking momentum. There's guys on my tail. I don't know who it is, but if I fuck up, those guys are just back there waiting to eat me alive. 
are doing exactly what I'm doing. Waiting for one single mistake. That's all it'll take. Probably cussing my name saying, Shater, I've seen your videos. Crash already. Whew, lap one in the books, baby. Remember, don't get too excited in this front part. There's still shit that can fuck you up, bad boy, as you just totally fuck that shit up. No mistakes, Surgeon. No mistakes, Josh. Quit it. <laughs> there goes Amber. All right, girl. I'm glad I held her off for at least one lap. I don't think she's wearing a GoPro today, but holding her off for one lap, at least one lap, makes me feel pretty good. Amber is a hell of a weapon on that XCW 150, let me tell you what, boy. I'm not going to talk a whole lot during this race. I'm really focused on actually doing good and not wrecking. But I think the key to doing well in this race is going to be doing three laps. It's a long course and there's a lot of dudes who are going to call it clips after three laps. Ah, my man! You got it, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye out. <laughs> oh man, I'm just like incentivizing people to pass me because I know I'm going to put it on video. <laughs> it's like painting a target on my back. <laughs> Remember last time you took the good line? speed racer race ain't over yet fucking hauling ass dude dude that motherfucker's hair was on fire Ooh. <laughs> don't let him make you bold because you almost just lost it Again, I don't know if I should have just kept that dude's pace or forged ahead. <laughs> really hard to tell if I'm making the right decision right now. <laughs> that guy's making the right decisions. <laughs> was a fucking pass right there holy moly dude good on you that was impressive 
Damn! That guy's hauling ass. <laughs> Definitely in the thick of the fucking, the good dudes. Don't let it rattle you. Don't let it push you faster. You just let them run the, your, their race and you run yours. buddy through the obstacles look through the trees not at them Come on. Good lines. Ty, I know you're watching. I'll tell you, I'm trying. Ty came out here and he would have spanked me on a CRF 230. Would have spanked me on it. Like I said, I'm going to include that video down the link below if you want to see what a real rider looks like. Fucking embarrassing people on expensive dirt bikes like mine. On what's essentially a pit bike, you go check that video out because that's what Ty does. So the least I can make, the least I can do is make him proud with some of my line choices. And not let Wes pass me. That's my other goal. Wes passed me in the last race, and I'll tell you, it wasn't the best feeling in the world. <laughs> when we say pass me, lapped me, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> started in front of me and he laughed at me a couple miles before the finish. It was impressive. On his part, it was not impressive on my part at all. <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's what you don't want to do. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. Oh, good recovery, good recovery. Keep it going. Not a bad recovery. The fact that it was actually stuck on my leg. And my electric start graced me <laughs> with it actually working, I'd say. I went about as well as it could. Damn it, I wanted to get out through this race with no mistakes, but there you go, one mistake. Two, if you count my stall in the rut earlier. That was worth slowing down to take that line, 100%. I was gonna shoot past it, but I made a command decision. To say, no, nope, I'm gonna slow down enough for this one. And I think that paid off.
Oh man, this guy's a better rider than me. He was eating me up in the tight stuff. And I think he's uh, <laughs> not pushing himself as hard as I am, I would say. But that's cool because it's pushing me. Give me the good lines. My man, coaching me from the sidelines. Thank you, my brother. Remember, don't fuck this shit up. That would be a disastrous place to fall down. Like it was your first goddamn day. Almost done with the second lap. You know what? Still feeling pretty fresh. Have to be doing all right because I'll tell you, way less people have passed me than usual. Most of the people who are passing me fucking deserve it. It's not like I'm holding them off after some crazy battle. These guys are flying past me. You know, that's a good sign. Come on, man, one more lap, make it count. All right, buddy, this is it. For all the marbles, finish this third fucking lap, dude. Timed, timed third lap, you can do it. And we're fucking around. Make it count.
this one counts. So no slouching, no resting, no water breaks, no crashes. Just fucking make it happen, dude. be my best lap. It's the way it ought to be. Pulling out all the stops in the last lap, buddy. forget Wes is back there still potentially <laughs> gonna lap you in this race so don't let that happen <laughs> I hear a very angry 125 <laughs> this guy always passes me good job buddy or always laps me rather I hear that 125 pretty much every race. Come on. Can't stand up, which I still can. I'm saving it for when I really need it. Oh, but if I'm not gonna stand up through all of this to conserve my strength, I gotta make good line choices. Or else I'll actually do more harm than good. Good line, buddy. There you go. That's the one you wanted. Oof. Hands are getting a little tired. Some of these bumps are damn close. Ripping the handlebars out of my hands. That would be especially disastrous in some of these parts. Especially right now. Right now, I would say I am pushing my meager, small ability to the razor's edge. I'm not leaving a whole lot in reserve right now, even though it doesn't probably doesn't look like I'm going very fast. So if I crash, I've uh, pretty much doubled down on not crashing. Because if I crash now. It's really going to take it out of me, because I don't have anything extra to give. Ah, that was a little bit of a dirty pass. Sorry, bud. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just trying to get my, just trying to get my third lap to count. Sideways, baby. Let's not do that again. Okay. I think I lit a fire into this dude's ass. He didn't like that.
once in my life I took the better line. Ty, I cannot wait to show you that, buddy. Keep it up, dude. Keep it up. Don't wreck, though. I gotta throw a little bit of caution to the wind right now. Just. It fucking bad, boy. Only in mile five. A lot of race left. A lot of shit can happen, dude. Don't let it happen to you. This guy wants to eat my fucking lunch, dude. This guy wants to eat my lunch, and I think he might. I don't know if I can catch him. I'm giving it all I got, and he is pulling away from me. Oh, well. Whew. We'll see what happens. Still over half the race left. Come on, buddy. Oh, a little nose wheelie there. <laughs> Where's the cameraman for that one? <laughs> that would have been, an endo right there would have been disastrous at the speed I was going. No! Come on, come on, come on. Yes! One more time for my electric start. Come on. Well, kiss your chances of catching that dude goodbye. That's all right, though. Ooh, my shoulder, I'm not going to be happy with it later. Oh, come on now, pay attention.
my god, it's that dude on the XR650 again. <laughs> you motherfucker. That guy's a badass. That means that dude lapped me. No shame in her game. Shade Tree Surgeon is having a very hard time passing this girl. Bad news. <laughs> Cannot believe I did not go over the handlebars when I just did that. <laughs> they even warned us like, dude, don't go in that high grass. That's full of potholes and pipes. But lucky, lucky, lucky. Control, dude, you're almost there. Oh, breathe in and breathe out. Half a mile to go. There's no mistakes.
Ha <laughs> ha! My brother, you are the man. Holy mackerel. Oh. Mackerel. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't. Done. I'm sorry, I Amber. <laughs> oh, I love you, girl. I'm so sorry. I was like, as soon as I did it, I was like, man. <laughs> Tyler's never gonna let me love this car. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Holy crap! Come here, girl. Don't let me knock you over. That was fucking insane, man. That was my first afternoon race. That's <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> I didn't drink my Camelback. But neither did I. I was like, damn. <sighs> Not one drop of water the whole fucking race, man. <sighs> I was so focused, man. Dude, you had a good battle going that 22 seat guy. Yeah, he ate me up once he got away, though. You and me, that was a real fucking battle, man. Like, you were like a second, you were still like a second behind me. I, I even felt bad when I went around you. I was like, that was kind of dirty, man. <laughs> Kevin, my man. Damn, man. Congratulations, brother. Dylan Connolly, my man. Oh, Lord have mercy. That was rough. What's up, guys? I usually don't do a postscript on videos, but I felt that this race called for one because I learned a lot. As of right now, I 100% feel that that was the best race I have ever ever run. I was on top of it the whole time. I was focused. I was pushing it to my absolute limit every mile of that race, or at least pretty much every mile. And it felt good. I felt like I was going fast. I felt like I was doing good. It's not even that I reviewed the footage afterwards and thought, oh man, I did pretty good. It was literally at the time, at the time of the race, I felt like I was doing amazing. I just, I just felt so in control and on top of it. Everything I've done, all those days of practice, all those other races I've done, all the weight I've lost, everything has led up to this point, to this race, for me to do the best that I ever have. And guess what? Still not good enough. And yeah, I know, I feel great because I had a personal best just from the way I felt at that track, but at the end of the day, I placed 13th out of 19 riders. While that's not bad, it's certainly not anything to write home about. I'm proud of myself for how I did in the race, but when you look at it on paper, yeah, still not good enough, man. And when I think about how hard I had to push it, how close to the edge I had to dance just to finish when I did in the place that I did, and I look at the vast gulf between me and the riders who are scoring in the top 10, it seems almost insurmountable. So yeah, I learned a lot in this race. And what I really learned is how much harder I'm gonna have to push myself and how much harder I'm gonna have to work if I wanna do even better than I'm doing right now. And right now, I'm doing the best I ever have. I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's kind of where my head's at after this race. Don't think that I'm getting down on myself or I feel like I did shitty in the race or anything like that. That's not the case. That's not what I'm talking about here. It was just, it really opened my eyes. It was a big realization to the fact that it's just going to take hard work and dedication for me to progress any further than I am now. And I plan on doing that because I want to get better. See you in the next race, guys.